Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Lumio to create online graphic organizer activities for your students. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm in my Lumio account and I'm going to add an activity. I'm going to go down to the graphic organizers and I'm going to pick a three column format. And I'm going to set this up as an activity about the branches of US federal government. So I'm gonna call this one branches of government. Pretty straightforward title. And I want to edit these columns here. And so to do that, I'm just gonna click on the image of these columns once, and then click this lock icon to unlock it. And now use the text option to write in some text. And you can see there, I can highlight that text and make it larger. There we go. And I can resize that box and reposition that box with the text on it. And I can do the same thing here. And I'm going to, again, reposition that box. And one more time. And again, I'm going to reposition this box and put it in the center of that header. Now, I want to add another page here. I want to add a title page with, with some instructions for my students. So I'll go to the bottom left corner and select New Page. And I'm going to use just a basic template. And I'm going to put in a title page. And here in this title page, I'm going to edit so that it's not just saying title page anymore and say branches of government. But that text is way too big. So let's highlight it all and make it smaller. And then move that around. And now I'm going to put in some text here. Let's say in each column. Write as much as you can about each branch of government and its responsibilities. And I can now record myself in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to record some directions for my students. Hey students, it's Mr. Byrne. In this activity, I would like you to write as much as you can in each one of the columns about the branches of US federal government. What can each branch do? What can't it do? And so I have my audio here, and I'm going to add that in. And now my students will have some audio directions to go along with the written directions. But I want those directions to come before the page with the columns. So let's click and drag and put those into a new order. And now branches of government is first and the columns come second. And now in the upper right corner, let's make this page an individual handout activity. So every student will have his or her own copy to work on. And in this case here, I'm going to call this one again, branches of government. And I can now preview it and we'll see here. Okay, branches of government and it looks correct to me. So I'm going to close that out, go to this page, make sure that still looks correct and preview that. And that looks correct as well. So now my activity is ready to go. I'm going to finish editing. And I want to start this activity and give it to my students. Now, it's important to note that in this example, I'm going to be using guest students who are going to access the activity through that class ID you see listed at the top of the page in a real classroom setting, I would not have guest students. Students would actually log in. 
So here I'm going to start this activity. So this is my teacher page here, and I'm going to bring up the student view right now. So a student would join a class, and in this case, like I said, we're going to be a guest student using this class code. 776937. And I'll just be Bob as the demo student here who's joining as a guest. And they can see here branches of government. And that's the first little slide that they see. They can click done on that one or edit it. And now here as the teacher, I have advanced to the next frame. And so my student will also have been advanced to the next frame where they can go in and write in the field here. This is the president and vice president. And we can just say done. And when the student is really done, they'll just leave the class. And as a teacher here in my student progress, we'll see that I no longer have any students working on it, but I do see that Bob has completed the activity and turned it in, although Bob didn't really do a whole lot. So, that's how you can create an online graphic organizer activity for your students by using Lumio. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.